happening. They've launched one hoax, these people we have to deal with, and they've launched witch hunt after witch hunt, and they just try to stop our movement. They want to do anything they can to thwart the will of the American people. It's called election interference. That's what they're doing now. This is election interference. And we've never seen it on a scale like this. And you have to understand, the other side is downright crooked. That's why we now call him Crooked Joe Biden, because, you know, we took the name away from Hillary. She suffered enough with that name. <laughs> so I retired the name from Hillary because I wanted to bring it over to Biden, because he's probably worse than she ever was, and that's saying something. As the Durham report proved, they spied on my campaign. They forged false evidence to get illegal surveillance warrants. The FBI offered $1 million for a fictitious dossier written by a foreign spy to try and frame me for treason. We beat it all off, didn't we? They put our country through hell, and they knew it was a lie the entire time. They knew it was a lie. They knew the laptop from hell was a lie. They knew everything. Remember, it's not me they're going to go after. And if you think of it, whoever took my place, and I hope it's not going to be anybody, because we're the ones that are going to save this country, because our country is in trouble. <laughs> They'll go after that person, and that person will not be able to withstand the fire. And I know all of them. I know them all. And they actually admit it. They come to me, how do you stand this? And I usually look at him and say, in a sick way, I sort of enjoy it. <laughs> because it exposes them. It exposes them for what they are. And it's also lifted the poll numbers to even higher legs. Have you seen this? The polls are through the roof. And the fundraising, small-dollar fundraising, is setting records. But still, you get indicted over nothing? You get indicted over the Presidential Records Act, which they don't even admit. They call it the Espionage Act. These are sick people. We had Russia, Russia, Russia. Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. The no collusion Mueller witch hunt. Impeachment hoax number one. Remember the perfect phone call? Impeachment hoax number two. The illegal censorship of the Hunter Biden laptop from hell. The 51 intelligence officials who falsely said it was Russian disinformation. Remember they said that? I said, nobody believes that. Who would believe that? You see the pictures? Horrible pictures. The real pictures haven't been exposed yet. But all of this, and it just kept coming and coming and coming, and it would for another person in my position, but they wouldn't be able to handle it. They wouldn't be able to take it, because you're dealing with crazy lunatics. Now the Marxist left is once again using the same corrupt DOJ and the same corrupt FBI. And attorneys general and local district attorneys to interfere in our election at a level that our country has never witnessed before. These criminals cannot be rewarded. They must be defeated. We have to defeat them soundly. In the end, they're not coming after me. They're coming after you, and I'm just standing in their way. The baseless indictment of me by the Biden administration's weaponized Department of Injustice will go down as among the most horrific abuses of power in the history of our country. I think it already is, when you think about it. And certainly, going back to Obama, when I said, you know, they spied on my campaign, everybody, including the fake news media back there, they said, oh, that's so crazy. Turned out I was right. This vicious persecution is a travesty of justice. You're watching Joe Biden try to jail his leading political opponent. Think of it. This is like third world country stuff. Trying to put his opponent, who's leading him by a lot, wants to put him in jail over following a civil act. This is a simple thing. The Presidential Records Act, it's all under the Presidential Records Act, as it should be. It's all under the 
Clinton sucks case. You know what this Clinton sucks case is? That's where they sued Clinton, and he ended up winning, that he could keep the things that we're talking about. It's all under that, Mr. Congressman. We discussed that before. But this is more like Stalinist Russia or Communist China that we're dealing with. These people have reached a level of Trump derangement syndrome that nobody thought was possible. And I never thought, frankly, that this could happen in America. 